Hi, Nicole Young here with a quick tip on how to hand stitch a panorama in Photoshop. Now there's always the option of using the automate feature by going to file, automate, photo merge, and this will do it automatically for you. You just go ahead and find your files and click okay. But sometimes it acts wonky and it doesn't quite work. So if you really want the panorama, then you're just gonna have to do it yourself. Now. In this example, I took all these photos I have of Delicate Arch in Moab, and I just dragged and dropped them into the, into the file. And I really wasn't super careful with where I placed them. I kind of made sure that they were overlapped and, you know, in the general vicinity of where they should be. But the cool thing is you don't have to be precise with this because Photoshop will actually do a lot of the work for you afterwards. But I have a few more photos I want to add in here. I'm gonna go ahead and show you how I do that. I just open up the file and by using the move tool, I just drag and drop it into that file. Close that other one. I'm going to drag it over to the left here. Now, the, it's actually pretty easy if you were to change the opacity of this layer. You can do it in the layers panel by just, you know, sliding that slider. So now we have a nice little overlay and we can see a little bit better where things are being placed. And if I want to change that back to 100% opacity, I'm just going to hit zero on the keyboard. And then I go up to image, reveal all, and that pushes the canvas over so I can actually see the entire image. And I'll add the last image there, drag it over, close the file, and let's see, let's change that opacity to 50% by clicking five. And I'll just get it kind of, looks like it goes about, about right there. And then hit zero for 100%, image, reveal all. All right, so now we have everything in its place. The next thing we do is I, I need to go ahead and highlight all these layers. I'm gonna hold the shift key and click on that bottom layer. Then go to edit, auto align layers, click okay. This is some of the same processes that Photoshop uses when it actually does the automatic photo merge. We just did a lot of the work for it by placing the layers in the document to start. So with all of those layers still selected, we go up to Edit, Auto Blend Layers, OK. And there we go. Now we have a very nice, seamless image and a really great panorama that we did by hand.